ask also to implement a delete button you have to figure out which DOM elements to change whenever it is clicked but knockout is different because there is there is a concept called for each binding in the knockout JS that whenever you are binding an array to, to that for each binding it will automatically when, when the array changes the UI changes to match to inject new TRs at the time at the runtime for example you can declaratively bind a span to display a number of items as follows like when the whenever in this example they are they dis that displays the count of an array in this example when the count is lesser than 5 the add button This is the hello world program that we have to discuss and this is the UI which is view and this is the view model this is a simple program so it doesn't contain the model based on the UI the result will be displayed yeah in view model here is the first name that is displayed in the view and the last name and as well as full name yeah this dot first name here we are declaring the bindings ko dot observable this is declarative binding when ko dot observable is giving first first is coming from here when we run here program displayed as Sridhar and uh, Sridhar Ramadas so ko dot observable is used for two way binding because when uh, at the run time whenever the UI changes the full name also changed because this is ko dot computed function whenever the first name or last name change it is got dependency binding that is tracking the dependency automatically it knows that full name depends on the first name and last name because these get called when evaluating full name and the next program is click counter this program describes you have clicked first time at the zero times and then the button button has click e1 click e1 this can be called here in the view model and then disabled disabled when is greater than equal to 3 the number of clicks is greater than equal to 3 this div when it is visible when it is greater than 3 and this button also including the button so here when we apply bindings first time it will display it as 0 because it was unchanged when we give it like this it is one way binding so when we click the button it goes to the register click and increment the number of clicks so I have clicked one time it will be displayed as one times and then I have clicked another time that will be incremented 
and once again I will be clicking another time so at that time this button is being displayed disabled when it is equal to 3 or greater than 3 and then this div, this div also displayed visible so here there is a reset click button here also there is a event when we click this event the number of clicks is equal to 0 so when the number of clicks is 0 this div is invisible and then this button is also enabled so when we click this this div is invisible and the button is enabled so like that this program and knockout is working so and then we have to go to the next program this is the simplest program so here they are displaying form input button and select so here is the view model so I am going to explain the view model here there is the items if we change the items and run the program it is based on the input the select has been displayed based on the input so here they are using options for binding there is there is a concept called observable array when we give it as observable array it automatically binds the options so here the button will be enabled whenever this input value is length greater than 0 so whenever the button will be enabled so after I am clicking add it automatically when I am clicking add so it calls to the add item at that time the array has been updated and that will be add the item writing to the items observable array causes any associated UI to update so this is to be binding whenever the array updates it automatically updates the UI also so this this is an easy way to work with this so rather than using jQuery we can use knockout now you can able to understand the narco js thanks for watching this video